it's an engineering solution. You, you know, because otherwise it's going to rattle. So I put a zip tie on it and um, some sock. Uh, yeah, but it, it'll be good. It's like yeah, but... it's no, it's not just duct tape. It's sock, sock, and duct tape. I got like gallons of water. I got a lot of water. Middle Willows, here we come. It's like the return match. Elephants. Hey. Scorpion, locust, grasshopper. Very good. We are in a citrus grove. This one's lemons. lemons. Santa Rosa Mountains over there. Santa Rosa's, I think. And then Coyote Canyon is on the left, going up the side. Oh, look, a great big bird. Ooh, it's a hawk or something. Hawk. Exploring Coyote Canyon. How can we be good campers? Oh, we're going to the campsite. And then Coyote Canyon through time. Ooh, let's go back to the Easter scene. All right. We are here. Bailey's cabin. Oh look, look, the trail's even marked on the official map. So we have 10 miles to go on sand. We are going to um Sheep Canyon. Okay, well we better get going. It's Let's see how the sand goes. It's all about the sand and the water. Thanks. I suppose this is the official beginning of Lower Coyote Canyon. Washboard, washboard, washboard alert. Okay, very cheeky. First crossing, lower crossing. Oh, keeps going. So Coyote Creek's really pretty chunky by this point. Wow. Just, yeah, yeah. the road's in really good shape, right? Like this. It's not really deep sand at all. You can just ride down the road. It's great. It's been a while since we did this. Oh. Ah, God, it actually has water in it. Can I drink some? No. Drinking? No. Drinking? Well, now we know there is some water, I suppose that's something, right? Mm -hmm. My God, it is actually water. Whoa. You really could drink it. That is the first time I've seen that. Oh my god. I could have done without a couple of months ago. Yeah. It's so cool to see stuff in the desert like that. I'm glad to see it though. Bird crossing. So this vegetation's starting to look familiar. This is uh, what we were trying to bushwhack through. Okay, yeah. That is not a footpath. No footpath. No footpath. 
You're just gonna splosh it. Pretty deep. Okay, you're usually pretty fearless, but we really don't want to fall off. It would suck. We could have ridden it actually, but then you might fall off, and that sucks, right? So I don't want to fall off. Watch forward. It's chilly. So this was Sheep Canyon Campground in the daylight. And it's quiet and nice and there's a couple of campers and there is um, a rubbish bin, a pit toilet and some tables and chairs and fire rings. So um, it's really pretty nice. But it doesn't really have much of a view. Uh, right now we're going to go and check out the other side of Middle Willows. Okay, back to the road. Let's go to Middle Willows. ridden like best part of 15 miles I think on the sand now and essentially all of it has been very moderate haven't really had to get off and push once because of the sand uh, which was a real surprise uh, so in the Anza Borrego I'd say this is one of the most bike friendly routes I've seen yet there you go middle willows and it actually says not a through road, but we knew that. It's not a, not a through road for cars. We just met some guys and they said that not long ago they, they had been through there. And one of their mates had been through there, but we're going to look for the uh, red flagging tape. And there's the other bloke coming up the rear. Maybe he'll tell us where the trail is. It really is Coyote Creek. Oh, holy. Look, it looks kind of salty, right? Drinking Coyote Creek. It looks kind of salty. There's just white stuff everywhere. Right. Coyote Creek actually even goes through the water. Right. Go Slowly, yeah, it's going through. All right, so we will try it. See what it tastes like. It tastes pretty good, actually. It tastes better than San Diego River water. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Kind of an alkaline. That... Let's wait to see what happens next. I guess this creek gets quite high. This is the south end. Do you want to see if those bike tires go on the other side? To the untrained eye, it just looks like a dead end. Anyway, you can have hours of fun doing this. Uh, but just do it on a nice day. And it reminded me of what we experienced, and so I think we've been vindicated. It's impassable. Wow, look at the cactus. They're awesome. Yeah, you don't want to go up there. Not good. Look at that. So, yes, it's a, it's a cliff into a jungle.
That was uh, an overnighter up Coyote Canyon. I think the total mileage is going to be something around sort of 40 or 45. Uh, the date was February the 13th or something. And it's a very hot weekend, but nonetheless, it was really not a supper fest. So we didn't even run out of water and the campsite was fine, it was pretty quiet. And the roads, the first time I've actually ridden all the way up there, the roads were not too sandy, I don't think, on uh, sort of 2.8 inch tires. They were fine, we really didn't really have to push through anything. And then uh, we managed to make it all the way out to the end of the road, which was to see the south end of Middle Willows. Uh, it was just as uh, intimidating as the north side of Middle Willows. So even though a couple of blokes di disappear off into the jungle, yeah, we weren't about to do that. Excellent little overnighter. Not a supper fest. It's great. Okay. Uh, Colbertus.